Hello and welcome to Jira administration tutorial series. Let's learn how you can configure the screens in Jira. So at the moment I am into the project RCV Academy online portal as you can see here. Let's go to the project configuration and see what all screens are available and then how you can create a new screen and then associate that new screen with the screen scheme so now i'm in the project settings at the moment and to see the screens that are available in your project you simply in the in the left hand side of the project um, you just click on the screens and here you can see the screens that are available so if you expand this screen scheme for uh, the project ROP which is RCV Academy online portal you will see the scrum default screen scheme is there which basically has six issue type or all the default issue types apart from the bug are associated with that particular scheme uh, sorry scheme then you have the scrum bug screen scheme which is specifically for the bug issue type in the project now these are the default screen scheme that gets created when you create any project or any software project, um, well, sorry, scrum project. So once you create a scrum project, it will create a separate um, scrum bug screen scheme, which will have a scrum bug screen uh, as the screen config. And then you will have a default issue screen which will be associated with screen, uh, default screen scheme and will uh, contain all other issue type. Right? So you can edit these um, schemes or screen schemes and then if you, so for example, you want another screen to appear for a story and epic, then you can create another screens and then associate the uh, issue type epic and story to those screen right so here what we need to do is since we are in the project administration area at the moment that you can see so you can see the bug or the other issue type they are there are different operations for the screens as well like create issue edit issue or view issue and you can associate a particular issue or a particular screen type or a different configuration for the screen for each of these operations as well. Now we'll cover all these details or the you know how you can configure all these things in the screens step by step. First thing that I want to cover in this tutorial is how you can create new screens. So let's understand how you can go ahead and create the new screens. So from the project administration area, if you um, go to the actions, you will be able to edit the screens. So click on edit screen. And then if you say, so for example, scrum default screen scheme, you want to edit, you can choose a different screen scheme from here, from the drop down. But in order to add a new screen, you need to go to the administration area so as you can see here i have navigated to the jira admin area from that project admin area and you can see the back to project rcv academy online portal is there and now i am in the issue type screen scheme which is the project admin area so you can navigate from the project administrator like that or simply go to um, the administration cogwheel and click on issues and then come to the screens section here so below screens if you click on screens then you have the option to add screen and you can use this button to add a new screen in the uh, in your Jira instance so what we'll do is we if you click on add screen it will open the add screen window you need to provide the name and description and add this will be completely blank screen for you you need to um, I'll just in sam I'll just say sample screen just to show you how it will appear and then how you need to configure the whole thing there so that's how it will appear so it will have a tab 
uh, field tab and then you have to choose the fields that are available here and create that particular screen right um, if you want to do it a bit quick way simply choose a screen scheme or choose a screen that is already there for uh, your project so what I'll do is I'll choose this bug screen already which is already there and I need to provide or I need to do some of the uh, updates to this bug screen so I won't um, edit the existing screen I'll create a new screen uh, and then associate with it with the bug issue type and uh, the project whichever I need so what I'll do is I'll simply say copy this particular screen and then it will say copy of the screen so what I'll say is um, just leave it as ROP and then bug bug screen new and provide the same description there and copy so what it will do is it will copy everything or all the configurations that were there in the scrum bug screen and create a new screen so you can see here rop bug screen um, new is being created now if you want to change the name or description you can click on edit button here and to configure this screen you click on configure all right so it will open all the fields there and what i'll do is um, i'll remove some of the items there so i'll say remove the effects version and then I'll say remove the sprint field there I'll remove the security level and remove automatable so I have removed a couple of items there and issue type is there summary is there so and maybe components so just to keep it uh, a little bit uh, crisp and small remove the epic link as well this is not um, you know the the practice to remove the the mandatory field so I mean I'm just removing some of the fields just to show you how you will be able to remove and add the new field so um, that's why I have removed most of the fields there and now you can also try creating a new tab right and then move some of the fields in the new tab so that's also possible in the screens so once I'm finalized with this screen I'll go back to the screen and then you can see the new bug screen is there but it is not associated with any of the screen schemes so what I need to do is I also need to do uh, need to create a screen scheme and then associate this bug screen to the screen scheme okay so what I'll do is I'll go to the screen schemes and then from here copy the same bug screen scheme for the project so I'll copy that just to expedite the whole process and I'll say bug screen scheme new copy the same thing put in the description and copy now the new screen has been created to edit the name and the description you can click on edit otherwise click on configure right now once you click on configure you will see the screen which is associated with this new scheme is again the old bug screen but I want to associate the new bug screen that I created so what I'll do is I'll click on edit and then from the drop down you just select ROP bug screen new this is the new bug screen that we created and click on update now if you see here in this configure screen scheme um, you have the issue operation which is default that means it is used for all unmapped operations what this means is um, the issue operation is basically create edit etc so you these are the operations here so create edit and view right now if you want to have a different screen association with each of these issue operation then you can create a separate screen as well so for example for create issue you want a different screen to appear for edit issue when a person is editing an issue you want a different fields and screen to appear or when, when a person is viewing the screen you want a different screen to appear 
then you can associate these operations accordingly so for create issue you can have a different screen say for example a, a bug screen new but for the rest right for the rest you can create a new screen and then also associate um, the new screen say for example for edit you want bug screen new edit and bug screen new create uh, and bug screen new view so if you want a different screens to appear for these operations you can create new screens for each of these operations and then associate those screens with these issue operations as well what i'll do is i'll just remove everything or delete everything and then just keep one screen for all the issue operations so create edit and view so that there is least confusion um, when people are you know like viewing the issue and they are not able to find the field that they are looking for which i have noticed you know like a lot of time people coming back and complaining oh i created an issue and i uh, when i create the issue there were so many fields but when i view it i don't see my field so unless and until it is very necessary and um, critical information that you don't want to show a person after the issue has been created um, then you hide it otherwise just uh, just keep it as default so it all depends you know like what sort of requirement is coming from your project now i have associated these issue operations with um, with the bug screen and now what we'll do is we'll go in the issue type screen scheme and then associate this screen scheme with some project right so rcv academy online portal what we'll do is we'll just click on configure and then for bug what we'll do is we'll associate a new screen scheme that we created so at the moment it's scrum bug screen scheme i'll click on edit and then i'll say i want new screen scheme or bug screen scheme new that i created and click on update now you can see all other default issue types or unmapped issue types are using scrum default screen scheme but my bug is now using the new screen scheme or a bug screen scheme new that i created which has associated screen behind it which is the screen scheme new or a bug screen new that we created in the start of this tutorial now that's all associated and done now, now let's go ahead and test it right so what i'll do is i'll click on create and the project is correct and i'll select the bug and click on next next now once now you can see the create issue window got open and it has very minimal fields so we removed couple of fields there we'll cross check that these are the fields that are there so project issue type summary reporter and there is no um, epic link and those sort of uh, fields there right so we'll again cross check so i'll remove the linked issues from that screen and then see that this field disappears right so we'll go back and go to the issues and in the screen i'll again configure it so let's remove linked issues okay and then also environment so we have removed two environment and linked issues right now if we go back to the project and create a bug now linked issues and um, the other field is not there right so that is, that is pretty much all about how you can create the screens let me cancel this window and go back to the issues and to the screens right. so this is pretty much um, the whole process of creating the new screen then associate that screen with a screen scheme so how you can create a screen scheme and then associating that screen scheme with any of the project issue type and um, 
the the screen uh, different activities as well so hope you like the video please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching